Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to take you through this short 10 minute morning yoga stretch to help you start your day on the best possible note. So this is a very stretchy, fluid practice, a little bit of strength involved. I would say best suited for intermediate students and we won't be needing any props. So let's start in a butterfly pose bringing the soles of your feet together to touch, letting your knees fall apart. And you can wrap your two peace fingers around your big toes and you're kind of pulling them apart and at the same time really pushing your thighs down. And we'll just do cat and cow from here. So as you inhale, think of pulling your heart up towards the sky, reaching your shoulders back. And on the exhale, reverse this motion as you round and drop your chin to your chest. So a few more like this, inhale and exhale. Keep going, really feeling this through your upper back and always trying to press your knees down closer towards the mat. Noticing where you might have tightness or tension this morning. Coming all the way up to neutral, we're just gonna fold forward. I'm doing this with a flat back, so I'm not rounding. I'm really trying to pull my heart forward as I fold and hinge from the hips. Because I'm maintaining a flat back, I'm not folding very far. So don't worry too much about that, especially first thing in the morning. We tend to be a little tighter than normal. And you can always also use your elbows to push your knees down a little more. And coming all the way up, let's bring our feet flat to the floor in front of us. I'm just going to move back and you can widen your feet so they're a little bit more, uh, a little wider than your hips. And we're going to drop both knees over to the right and then all the way over to the left and really push those knees down so you're getting a big stretch, a little windshield wiper motion. And the next time you have your knees dropped over to the right, we're going to lean all the way over our right thigh and our right knee. And getting a nice stretch through that glute and through our hip. Come all the way back up and let's lift our knees up. Same thing on the other side. Drop your knees over to the left and fold over your left thigh. And this is a great opportunity to set an intention for your day. Come all the way up and we're just going to lay all the way down on our backs. See if you can cross your right ankle over the top of your left knee, press that thigh away and see if you can squeeze and draw your thigh in towards your chest. Relax your shoulders, relax your head and your upper back. Maybe start to ask yourself what your intention would be today. This might just be one word or a short sentence that really captures how you want to feel and how you want your day to go. And let's release. Bring both feet flat to the floor. Find your bridge pose. Set to Bandha Sarvangasana. Squeeze into your glutes to press your hips up towards the sky, hug through your inner thighs, dig down into your heels, find a little bit of strength here. And carefully come down, rolling down inch by inch, reclined pigeon on the second side, left ankle to your right knee, and pull your right thigh into your belly. Breathing in and out through your nose. Let's release bridge pose again. Exactly the same thing. Feet are flat to the floor. Engage and squeeze through your back of your legs into your glutes to find a little bit more height through your hips. Press your shoulders into the mat. 
and come down nice and slow. You can pull your knees into your belly, rock up and down to lift up into our downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana, our first downward dog. Hands are shoulder width distance apart, feet are about hip width distance apart or so. And I'm just paddling out my feet and my legs here to stretch into the ankles, into my calves. See if you can push your chest towards your thighs a little bit more. And let's bring our right leg up towards the sky. Bend your right knee, open up your hip. Squeeze to lift that knee up even higher. And you're gonna now step your right foot to the middle of your mat. So a few inches behind your right hand, not all the way to the top. We're gonna roll to the outer edges of both feet. So you're now leaning on your left hand. Reach your right arm up and over, big side body stretch here. You really need to push your feet into the floor to lift your hips. Go ahead and drop your hips down and reach your hands to the back of the mat. Big side body stretch the other way. Inhale, push and lift all the way back up. Exhale, sink that left hip down. One more like this. Inhale. And exhale. Linger in this stretch. Look down towards your left hand so you can place that right palm down. Downward facing dog. Step that right foot back. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Left leg rises. Bend your left knee. Open up your hip. Get a nice big stretch here. And step your foot a few inches, a little bit behind your left hand, more so towards the center of your mat. And you're gonna roll to the outer edges of both feet. So all 10 toes are pointing towards the left side of your mat. You're leaning on your right hand, left arm, bicep is along the ear, reaching up and over. As you exhale, bring your right hip towards the mat. Reach your left hand towards the back. Inhale, strong through your legs and through your abdominals as you lift. Exhale, dip it down. Last one, inhale. And exhale down. Look towards your right hand. Plant your left palm down, step it back. And from our down dog, let's ripple forward into our plank pose, lower to your belly, and slide your forearms out in front of you, coming into Sphinx. Open through your chest. And just catch your breath here, come back to a slow, steady rhythm. We've built a little bit of heat. Now inquire as to what your intention is today. Pressing back, child's pose, balasana. Big toes together, knees as wide as you would like them to be. Stretch your hands out in front of you, pressing your shoulders down towards the mat. Try to relax here. Not straining in the pose. Not using too much effort. And let's walk our hands back in. Come to take a seat. Sitting up tall, rest your hands on your knees. And bring all of your focus and awareness inward. Try to relax your shoulders a little more. Just a one minute meditation. Stay in silence and stillness and see if your one word intention comes to you.
Feel into your body. Bring your hands together at your heart. And with this intention clear within you, let's close by chanting Om one time. Inhale to chant, big breath in. Thank you so very much for doing this short morning yoga stretch with me. I hope you feel a little bit more energized and ready to take on your day. Before you go, let me know what your word of the day is, what your intention is, and hopefully I will practice again with you very soon, maybe even tomorrow morning.